before this video starts i'm recording this after i recorded the second two parts that you're about to see in this video but as far as the first 10 15 20 minutes go the last six minutes or so of the video is uh after my return back into the cvs and the story ends with good news so uh yeah and the main points i want to make about in this video if you don't want to watch the next 20 minutes is looking to adap a d a p uh, uh i believe it's just an ohio program uh and if you're in ohio looking to circle health and uh, this is really just my story of today, of getting my medication. And if you have AIDS or HIV, don't miss a day of medication. I saw some other vlog with some guy with HIV talking about how he has problems taking his medications every day. Uh, as an AIDS patient uh, who was recently in the hospital and had a very, very low T cell count, do not take that medication for granted. Take your fucking medication every single day, no matter what and uh, do whatever you can do to make sure you can get it. Uh, there's programs out there to help assist you and I talk about a little bit of that stuff in this video. And uh, anyway, the video will begin and I will explain my day, how I spent my day. If you're an XVG whale follower or been following on via VS domains, that's why I haven't been active on Twitter today is the story I'm about to tell. But anyway, Merry Christmas and God bless. What's up, Pete here? Uh, doing another AIDS vlog. I am in a CVS parking lot, and I just wanted to tell you about my day and a few uh, helpful things uh, for information uh, for anyone with any health problems, but specifically uh, AIDS, and tell you about a few different programs. Uh, there's ADAP, uh, which is specifically for HIV and AIDS patients, uh, at least in the state of Ohio. And my Medicaid was denied the other week, and I have to wait till the 17th for a hearing for that. Uh, but they switched me over to ADAP, uh, which is compatible with CVS's specialty care uh, unit, and uh, that is they offer shipping directly to my doorstep uh, if possible or my local CVS uh, so anyway just the other week I was denied my Medicaid so I didn't have insurance temporarily so for my prescription refills uh, the folks at Circle Health they filled out the paperwork and did all the phone calls to get me enrolled into the ADAP program. Uh, and I am covered for at least the next six months through that program. And I can have it mailed to my house so I don't even have to leave my house. Honestly, I shouldn't even be leaving my house right now. Uh, with my CD4 count so low, I am vulnerable uh, to sickness. The only reason I'm here right now is because Ryan's at work. She had to go to work in the afternoon. I'll explain the rest of that story later. But if you are denied Medicaid or are waiting for a Medicaid hearing or uh, just an alternative option is uh, ADAP. And I believe that's through the Ryan White Law or something like that. And it's a great thing. However, the reason that I'm out here right now in the uh, evening uh, is because this was sort of a last minute change from Medicaid to ADAP and I was running out of my Victarvi, my antiretroviral medication which is the main medication that I need to take and my dose ran out today uh, and so they processed my ADAP forms earlier this week and then they processed that through the CVS specialty care about two days ago and it was supposed to be 24 to 48 hours before I was able to pick up that medication uh, they overnighted flighted with flight my medication to my local CVS and I chose the local CVS instead of my doorstep 
just in case I miss the signing on the door. I don't want to uh, miss a single day of my medication. Um, so uh, what happened is, is I checked today, just called the local CVS to see if they had my medication. They said they didn't, so I called CVS Specialty Care and CVS Specialty Care uh, get, provided me the tracking number and for UPS and UPS uh, it arrived to Cleveland and they had some mechanical error uh, is what it was listed as uh, what I'm guessing is it's Christmas time shipping overflow and my package just didn't make it through uh, so it's not going to be here until Monday so basically my options were to not take my antiretroviral today and tomorrow or find another way to get it and I don't want to miss a single day of my medication because if you miss a day of medication or if you don't take it regularly it's not as effective I was just at the hospital the other week I don't want to go back to the hospital and I my viral count went down to 160 and if I continue taking my medication every day it will stay down and if I miss days my viral count will start going back up and it will kill more of my CD4 cells. So I don't want to miss a day of medication and my medication uh, isn't going to be at the local CVS until Monday and on Monday I'd be able to pick it up there for free. Uh, thank God uh, for Circle Health and uh, Dr. Whelan, uh, Adriana. Uh, because she answers my text and phone calls even during the weekends uh, and this was a little bit of an emergency for me in regards to my medication so earlier she was at a layover in New Orleans for a flight she was going to a conference and I gave her a call to let her know that my medication wasn't available and wasn't going to be available until Monday and uh, so what she was able to do was forward it to another pharmacy over here in Westlake. So she forwarded it to another pharmacy over here in Westlake. I got over to that pharmacy and just like the other pharmacy, they didn't have my ADAP information on file. They only had my Medicaid information on file. Uh, so my Medicaid is denied until my hearing on the 17th and they want me to go in person in the hearing on the 17th. I'm not even supposed to leave the house. I'm going to call on them on Monday, see if I can do my hearing over the phone. Uh, but anyway, I went there, and their pharmacy closes. This is 24-hour CVS, but their pharmacy closes at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, I should have just had her send, her send it to this pharmacy in the first place. So anyway, I got there. It was close to 6 p.m. already. They didn't have my ADAP information they had my Medicaid information that was in uh, not active right now and they told me to look up uh, manufacturer coupons uh, so I did that uh, because the price of the medication uh, was three thousand six hundred dollars uh, which I could have just paid then and there however as much as I need this medication right away I also don't want to waste money so I pulled into the parking lot and I looked up a coupon. Uh, the coupon was for $3,100. And again, I could just wait two days and get this medication for free. And that $3,600 uh, would be for a full 30 day supply. And for certain medications, they allow you to partially fill a prescription and allow doctors to send in partially filled prescriptions. For the specific prescription Victarvi, the medication I'm on, they don't allow it and they don't allow you to open the bottles uh, of the 30-day pills. So I, what my doctor wanted to do was just send in a partial prescription for three days so I could just self-pay a few hundred dollars for three days of medication at the pharmacy and that would have been that. And that was the game plan when I got to the other CVS that closed at 6 p.m. But when I got there, they explained to me, again, they didn't have my ADAP information. And again, uh, 
they were not able to partially fill my prescription even at the request of my doctor. I had to pay the full 3600 uh, for my 30 day prescription. So I went in the parking lot and I, uh, and earlier in the day I tried calling, I tried to get it a hold. The Circle Health is closed on the weekends. The Ohio Department of Health is closed on the weekends and I didn't have my ADAP number uh, because the uh, someone from Circle Health uh, filled out all that information for me, did the paperwork and did the phone calls for me earlier uh, this week so I didn't have the paperwork and those numbers on hand available and I shouldn't have needed to because I was on the phone with her when she provided those numbers to uh, CVS specialty care uh, unit or whatever and they have those numbers on file for my insurance but apparently their specialty care department is separate from their normal store pharmacy department so basically I was unable to use my primary insurance to pay for my medicine at the first CVS and at the CVS size and I still can't access those numbers uh, because it's the weekend and the Circle Health office is closed I was able to get the personal phone number of the lady that helped me with that paperwork but she didn't have that number available either because it's at the office uh, Circle Health has been awesome doing the most they can possibly do uh, and uh, Dr. Whelan was awesome to answer my phone call earlier in the day when she had a layover on a flight to a medical conference uh, in New Orleans to send that prescription over uh, to the other CVS pharmacy because my local Bay Village CVS didn't have any Victarvia in stock. But the two Westlake uh, locations do have Victarvia in stock. Uh, so anyway, while I was trying to figure that out and try to get my ADAP number in the parking lot and check the coupons, uh, they got too close to six o'clock so by the time I got back in the drive through I was just gonna use my credit card and pay the full $3,100 uh, for the 30-day supply so I don't miss my Saturday and my Sunday dose of Victarvi uh, but it was too late and then after six o'clock it closed and I was under the impression that I could just pick up my prescription from any CVS uh, location so I went and uh, ended up here at this CVS location uh, and I tried calling Dr. Whelan back after that uh, but she was on her flight to wherever her next location is uh, during that time so I couldn't get a hold of her uh, and so I got to this CVS and I went to the desk and tried to fill my prescription here. Turns out that uh, that prescription was only fillable at the other CVS location, which isn't my primary CVS. It's located right down the street, but their pharmacy closes at six o'clock. I should have just had it go to this one. That is a 24 hour pharmacy. Uh, so anyway, I'm at the 24 hour pharmacy now. I first tried getting the prescription filled. Again, the price is $3,600. I had the coupon for the $3,100. They were like, are you aware of the price of this medication? And I'm like, yes. But it's like I was just at the hospital a few weeks ago. I don't want to go back to the hospital. I don't want to miss a day of this medication. And if you miss the days of the medication, uh, the antiviral, uh, antiretroviral properties can lose effectiveness. And basically, if it loses effectiveness, I'm screwed in the longer run uh, and I would, it would hurt my CD4 count and it's very important to me to get this medication. Uh, so I went to the desk and despite me having that coupon and despite the fact that the medication uh, prescription for the 30 day because they refused to fill it for the partial prescription for a three day prescription. Uh, was already sent to the other CVS. They couldn't access it because it wasn't sent to this CVS. Uh, and it's already in the CVS specialty care system. However, the specialty care system is separate 
from the CVS regular pharmacy system. So although they could see that I was prescribed this medication and that a refill is due for this medication, they were unable to provide me with this medication, which is very frustrating to me because usually I take this dose in the morning and it's the evening and I am already late today taking the medication. I don't want to miss the medication for today. And the longer I wait, the more HIV cells replicate and the more CD4 cells I have are destroyed. And the longer before I can go back home. And uh, so that's what I've been doing today. Thank God uh, Dr. Whelan uh, had landed from her whatever other flight so I was able to get a hold of her uh, just momentarily ago or just before I started this video I just got off the phone with her uh, when she must have still been on the plane she didn't have access to Wi-Fi at the time and she needs to go through her computer to be able to put in the prescription and she needed the address of this CVS 24-hour pharmacy to forward my 30-day prescription uh, to this pharmacy uh, what she was able to do uh, and fortunately for uh, me they have a uh, there's the manufacturer has something called the Gillian program which is a Gillian card uh, which will save me some money on this prescription uh, again even if I had to pay 3600 I would have just paid 3600 because I need the medication uh, but even if I wanted to pay the 3600 I couldn't do it uh, right now and just buy my medication even though it's in their specialty care system because it wasn't forwarded to the specific pharmacy so thank God Dr. Whelan's flight landed 45 minutes ago or whatever and I was able to get a hold of her and after I got a hold of her she said she'd be able to put in my prescription within the next 30 minutes or so so I can get my medication today and forward it to the CVS but it's ridiculous how complicated this sort of thing is uh, however uh, I was able to get my temporary Gillian card online 24-7 so if anyone is in a similar situation, and if there's some reason you are denied Medicaid, or you're in the process of applying for ADAP, or for whatever reason have to self-pay for your Bictarvi, uh, and you're waiting, uh, first off, there's 24-hour pharmacies. Uh, second off, there are uh, you can uh, there's coupons for CVS also make sure you Google those and sign up for the Gillian card and if you're in the situation where you have to self pay that's the best you can do uh, other than that uh, Circle Health did nothing wrong uh, they got me set up with ADAP this week immediately it was sort of the fault of uh, UPS that my medication wasn't available today uh, for pickup at my local CVS and it also seems to be a flaw in the CVS system where their specialty care their specialty care is for people with like AIDS and cancer and Crohn's disease and stuff and it's meant to give them sp special care like they have the option to deliver to your doorstep uh, automatically refill out your pharmacy and that sort of thing so you never miss their your medication but I really wish they had it linked up to the regular CVS pharmacy because the regular CVS pharmacy can't even access my insurance information uh, which I should have written down I didn't fill out my own paperwork for that I'm sure I'm gonna get something in the mail for it but I can't even use that insurance because the surface circle health office is closed today and the specialty care uh, CVS specialty care line is closed and uh, at this hour or this day in the Ohio Department of Health is closed on the weekend so I wasn't able to call and get my ADAP number because if I would have been able to they would have my medication would have been paid for um, so anyway uh, it's been 18 minutes uh, 
she said about 20 minutes ago that she should get it in the system within 30 minutes so in the next 10 minutes I'll be able to go in there and get my 30 day supply and I'll probably have to pay a few thousand dollars uh, I'll let you all know how much the Gillian card actually saves me in the video description but I'm gonna put the information in the video description about uh, the Gillian card as well as ADAP. ADAP is specifically for AIDS and HIV patients and the idea is that you shouldn't have to pay for any of your medications and if necessary you should be able to get it shipped to your doorstep with the CVS specialty care program uh, and all of that would have happened for me uh, the only reason this situation where it is uh, this is happening is because uh, Medicaid was denied. I wasn't sure which process to go through. Uh, I had to apply for a hearing and then it took time to hear back for when my hearing was. I wasn't sure if my hearing would be before my next Pictarby prescription was due. And then so Circle Health enrolled me in the ADAP and they did all that on time. It just turned out the UPS shipping was late. But <clears throat> I am uh a little bit frustrated though and I feel bad for people with uh, other types of conditions that uh, might have the same problem where they uh, it could be life-threatening to miss a dose of medication but fortunately I'm gonna get my medication for today and if you follow me at XBG well that's why I wasn't online today because I've been jumping through hoops to try to figure out how to get my meds today I finally figured it out and thank God for Circle Health, thank God for ADAP, even though I can't use my ADAP today in the future and for the next six months I'm covered and don't have to worry about it anymore, but for this particular occasion, uh, I just gotta pay and I gotta pay for a full month supply even though I only need two of those pills because I'm gonna get my full month supply from ADAP on Monday. But I can't just buy two of these pills. I have to buy 30 of the pills at once. And I'd rather just spend that few grand and get those two pills for today and tomorrow. I just got to text from Dr. Whelan. It should be all good. I should go inside and get that prescription now. But I feel sorry for the people that can't afford to drop a few grand and would have to wait those two or three days until they're delayed UPS shipment or their uh, Medicaid hearing or uh, their ADAP stuff uh, goes through and would have to go through a few days of not taking their antiretroviral especially if you're in late stage HIV uh, in late stage AIDS uh, HIV is one thing late stage AIDS is another thing like when I was at a five 20 T cell count like you're talking about life or death type of uh, it makes a huge difference taking this medication in these first two months so I'm going to end the video here I'll upload it later but make sure if you are diagnosed with HIV or AIDS get on ADAP immediately uh, contact Circle Health or another clinic to help you out with all of that and <coughs> Uh, CVS specialty care is great when everything works the way it's supposed to do um, and everything is going to be fine and work out fine for me and thank God that uh, Dr. Whelan is awesome enough to respond to my texts and calls outside of work hours to make sure I get the medicine I need she did the same the before I had to go to the ER we called her at 3 in the morning and she answered and was there for support so I can't thank Circle Health enough for everything so I didn't even know the ADAP program existed my family has money uh, and they could pay for this stuff out of pocket if they needed to and they would if and when I need to and when I'm making more income next year I'll pay for my own insurance but uh, getting the medication in a timely fashion is important uh, for whoever you are. And, uh, but especially if you can't afford it, make sure you get on ADAP immediately and make sure you write down your numbers just in case a situation like this happens. 
uh, where a shipment is delayed or something like that, you can get it picked up at another pharmacy right away. Uh, but anyway, check out the information in the video description. Thank you for watching. And yep, this is how I spent my day today. But I got a lot of good stuff coming soon uh, for uh, everything else. And otherwise, my health is feeling better. But I just got to keep taking my medications. And uh, overall, I've been feeling much better. But I've been driving around. It's taking a lot out of me. And I'm late on my medications. So I better go get that right now. So anyway, bye. Peace out. Have a good day. Much love. Back, back from the store, Dr. Reeland was able to send the prescription and there was a little Christmas miracle. Uh, so basically, at first, uh, the deal was is I could only get a 30-day supply. Uh, they said they didn't have any open bottles uh, where I could just get a few days supply until uh, my 30-day supply arrived to my local pharmacy on Monday. But uh, when I went back in and after Dr. Whelan uh, put in my new prescription, they found an open bottle and were able to provide me three Bictarvies, uh, which will last me today and tomorrow, and just in case they don't get it on Monday. Uh, and instead of having to pay $3,000, I paid $300. Uh, which still sounds like a lot of money, but uh, it is worth it to not miss these two days of medication. As y'all know, I was in the hospital the other week. I do not want to go to the hospital the other week, and I am so happy and relieved uh, that uh, I was able to get uh, my meds today. Uh, but if you're in a situation where there's not an open bottle, where you're denied Medicaid, where you don't have insurance, where you're not on ADAP yet, or another situation and you got to self-pay and you can afford to self-pay, make sure you look up the coupons, look up the Gillian card if you're taking Victarvi, if you're on another medication, uh, they might have some sort of financial support systems out there to help you out but i am relieved that i was able to get my medications today and i am very thankful for the staff at cvs all three cvs's the bay village cvs uh both the west lake cvs's uh for uh assisting me as best they can uh, I hope one day they combine the CVS specialty care with the CVS pharmacy regular system for situations like this so no one ever has to miss their medications and so the insurance data rolls over if somebody doesn't have access to that data. I'm much less sick than I was two months ago, but how sick I was two months ago, I wouldn't have been able to drive here on my own. Uh, so, uh, I, uh, there's people out there that might be in a similar situation and they might be unable to drive and might not be able to get their medications on time and we can't let that be happening here in the great United States, but fortunately the great state of Ohio has a great program, ADAP for AIDS patients and, uh, everything, uh, was taken care of and especially big thank you to Dr. Whelan and uh, uh, Circle Health and big thank you to Naima from Circle Health. She made all the phone calls and did all the paperwork to get me on ADAP and uh, it was not the fault of CVS and it was not the fault of uh, Circle Health. They did everything they could possibly do for me. It was that there was a shipping delay on the overnight shipping. Honestly, there should be some sort of notification on boxes that are for vital medications to make sure that those are uh, shipped out immediately. I understand it's the holiday season and they're probably understaffed and overworked right now at UPS, so I can't blame them too much. but. Uh, that delay is what caused this issue, but they need to find a way to 
uh, label the boxes that are vital, important medications to make sure if some boxes can't get out on a certain day that the ones that are uh, people's meds that people need do get out. But uh, situations like this should not happen, at least not in the United States. Uh, for any normal scenario, you'd either have uh, your Medicaid going or your regular insurance going or your ADAP going and all set up. It just happened to be a weird series of events where I had my Medicaid denied and I had to wait uh, figuring out applying for the hearing and I was trying to call the county offices to see if I could get it sorted out the Medicaid before the hearing and then fortunately the people at Circle Health informed me about ADAP and got me enrolled in that program as fast as they could and got me set up with the CVS specialty care but I am happy I already took my Bictarvi uh, for today and I'm gonna be able to take it tomorrow and I'm gonna be able to take it on Monday and I'm never gonna miss a day uh, because if I miss a day more HIV cell uh, not cells HIV viruses replicate and more CD4 cells are killed. I got a bunch of great supplements too I'm going to talk about in another video. That's a different story. Uh, but try and do my best to take care of my health. And there's a Chipotle across the street and I'm real hungry. I've been trying to avoid contact with people and staying inside the house. So maybe I should just drive home and get something to eat. But that sure looks tempting right now. But anyway, have a wonderful day. And... Uh, God bless. Merry Christmas.